Namaste. Many times it happens that you show your horoscope to some astrologer and if there is a conjunction of Jupiter and Rahu, then they will say it is Guru Chandal Yoga and it is very bad and your horoscope is very bad. If you have too many planets in the 8th house, they will say you are just useless. And many such astrological aspects are there and then these people condemn you and then you start feeling as if like you are totally useless. But in this podcast, I have explained that there is no such thing as being useless. Nobody is useless and nobody is here by accident. There is a purpose. There is a reason. And so, if you are having any specific aspects in your horoscope and if you have come across such experiences then I would urge that please listen to this podcast and then you will start feeling good because you will gain some deep insights and then you will realize that nobody is useless neither you nor anybody So let's begin. A young man asked a question that my horoscope is bad. Certain people told me that your horoscope is bad. It is so bad that it should be thrown in a dustbin. I said to him, you please sit down. No horoscope is bad and no horoscope is good either. Good and bad is the play of the mind and the mind is a monkey. Always remember, truth can be very shattering. It is the truth that there is no good no bad, that nothing is right and nothing is wrong, everything is as it is. All condemnation and division is futile. Always remember, you are the child of God and God loves you. I can understand how you would have felt when you were humiliated by people who said that your birth chart, your horoscope is bad, very bad. But don't worry, such men and women are fast asleep and those who are asleep cannot help you with the truth. And the truth is that every Kundali, every horoscope comes with a certain purpose. Something has to be done. Some unfinished business has to be finished. You are not born accidentally. The universe has a purpose to be met through you. So then, how come you become useless? How can anybody call you useless? How can you become bad? How can your horoscope be labeled as bad? Bhagwan Raman Maharshi says, There is nothing wrong with God's creation. Mystery and suffering only exist in the mind. Good or bad is totally based on situations. If a knife becomes your shield and you can save yourself, protect yourself, then the knife becomes your savior. And if the knife is used to harm you, then the same knife becomes your killer. Now if you ask me whether a knife is good or bad, then the answer is impossible. 
A conscious person would never label anything or any person as good or bad. He is perfectly aware that it all depends on what purpose is. If the purpose is good, then even a knife becomes God. Once it happened, a young man and what a man he was, simple, hardworking and always helpful to all the people of his village. One day he lost his wife. She died in an accident. After a few days, he lost his daughter. She fell sick and he was short of money. The doctor won't come and the only daughter that he had took her last breath at midnight when the whole village was fast asleep. She was only six years old and now the young man had to take her dead body all the way to the graveyard, all alone. Now there was nobody in his life, everything was lost, everything was gone. People started gossiping. This man must have done many sins in his past life. Some would say, this man must be a curse to our village. And some said, how ill-fated this man is. And slowly, slowly, all the villagers started condemning him. They started maintaining distance from him. Now the young man, left out by all, took to drinking. He became a drunkard. And every day he was found with a bottle in his hand, swinging around, walking through the narrow lanes of the village. The villagers decided to kick him out of the village, but they couldn't. The law of the land would not let them do so. And so they all would try by every means and ways to ridicule him, to insult him, to treat him like an animal. And the young man would laugh. He would simply laugh and move on. At times, a few villagers would beat him and he would start bleeding. And yet he would not say anything. He would just slip out and keep moving from one place to the other. One day, it started raining. And the rains were so heavily showering that the village was flooded with rainwater. The rains were not stopping. Many houses were flooded. People became homeless. The crying of the woman. The crying of the children. The havoc all around. And the young man could not control himself. He could not see dying children and the plight of the woman of his village. And so for the first time in his life, he looked up in the sky and said, God, if you stop the rain, I will stop drinking. And that is my word. And the miracle happened. The rain stopped. God said, if by stopping the rains, one good thing is happening. If one man is waking up from his sleep, then it is worth it. And the rains stopped. And the man started crying. He became one of the greatest lovers of God that the world has ever known. The villagers came and said, You saved our lives. You please stay with us. We will help you in every way we can. But the young man was fired up. He was no more the same. He said, I am leaving now. The call from the mountains has come. God has chosen me and my journey has begun. And it is said that the young man went on to become one of the finest yogis that the world has ever known. A man who was condemned, a man who was beaten to bleed, a man who was labeled as mad and bad becomes the finest yogi. Everything is possible.
ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम